hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? It's the Otter Samurai here, back with more exciting adventures in Danganronpa 2. Now, last episode, we had go through the fifth class trial to see who killed Nagato Komaeda. Turns out it was a trap set up by him all along, because he is a total D-bag. And sadly, person, the ultimate gamer, Chiaki, she was working for the Future Foundation, and she couldn't say why until at the end of the trial, so she is gone. But at the end of that, we uh, kind of started breaking down mentally and then she came back to us she's like hey guess what we got a video to see i'm like what the Wait, why, why is she alive this makes no sense so everybody's waiting at the um cafeteria to see nagato's final video because apparently there's more to that video that than before yo hey you're late is it true nagato really left another message <laughs> Kneel before Miss Sonia! Thank her! She was the one who found it! <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's, Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Listen well! Ooh, confidence you, a coincidence, you say! Wrong! That is the will of causali causality! Casualty? Casualty! Getting whatever! Huh? Why would Miss Sonia be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that! She said her hamster, dude. Are you okay? Damn right! So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Wait, nobody's gonna question Gundam? He's supposed to be dead. I oh. wonder who's watching this message. Oh. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Look like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would? Nobody's gonna question that Gundam's still alive. Nagito is trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it! It was just as Monokuma said. Hey, hey! So he really set up the traitor as the killer, and even try to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough of your useless talk. It appears there's still more. But yeah, what? The, wait, huh? The ultimate imposter's alive too? H how? But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video... How unfortunate. Then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. <laughs> I dropped out of school because I'm so stupid. Now then. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... <laughs> the hell was that? Why am I blacking out? The Future Foundation's trainer must have known that truth all along. And so I was able to learn the truth about this world, and resolved to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> Don't break the- <laughs> Jesus. Don't be breaking the fourth wall, Nagato. But now that I know the truth, as I look back at Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. But only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma is trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... <laughs> Seriously pissing me off! Hell, hell in one scene! The choice of Japanese is little something... Odd, like he, Ke Keith is... What is... What's this? Oddly intense? <laughs> Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? Now then. But, that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to enter that palace is that message you found at Nezumi Castle. Yeah, but it's all scratched up. Well... Normally you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. 
It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Bonami. But that has nothing to do with me. Ah, you guys still think you're not gonna run of seven some of that time. Ah, you guys still think you're not gonna dart D13 or something. What? WWW. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't. Oh, stop. I had I had to hide this until my plan came to an end. But I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. Yeah, I knew it! 11037. Turn it around, it's Leon! <laughs> that is the password that was written in Nesby Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all I say to say. With this, my duty is finished. I... I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nagato, you're freaking me out here right now. Jesus. This was Nagato's final message. Um, that 11037 number that Nakano said was the password. <gasps> ah, there's no mistaking it. Password it to enter that ancient ruin. What the hell is my hero doing here? Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right. Let's go. What the fuck is going on? There's something wrong with you. That bastard Nakato! He was screwed up till the very end. What was that praise me crap? Of course not! After all the crap he put us through, there's nobody to ever do that! Alright! Alright, looks like it's finally my turn. I'll punch Monokuma so hard he'll go flying around the world like... <laughs> I'm not losing my co-pilot here. As long as Coach Nakamura and me are here, we won't lose. Just leave it to us! Damn right! Looks like the others have left already. We should go too. <laughs> what, are you scared now? Uh, of course not. Let's crush Monokuma's plan. <laughs> You're right, there's nothing to worry about, since everyone's here. Uh, yeah, there's only five of us. Where Easy the fuck are those- Easy as pie! Now then, let us make haste to the ancient ruin. As long as we work together, we will not lose to Monokuma or anyone else. <laughs> yep, uh, uh, where the fuck is everybody? Oh, I can't. I- uh, what, what the hell? Now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruin on the second island. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Now's not the time to investigate this thing. I need to hurry over to the ancient ruin. Um, uh, what the hell is going on? Ruins. Okay, it's back to regular sky now. Um... Somehow, it is quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? You are a boy, right? Mahiru, you're supposed to be dead! It's so unreliably freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> There's also that countdown! There's no time to stand around! I'm supposed to be dead too! What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna do it! Damn right! It's our last chance to get inside! <laughs> I'm dead. You feel nauseous for the thrill that seals the kill. May my beloved watch over me. Thanks for the food. Ah, if you're going to let it out, why not do it in the tupper where I keep it with me? I would like to drink some mikan that you sis after. Dumbass. Hey, now's not the time to fuck around. Especially with the corpses of our dead. What the fuck is going on? Young master for you, Hiko. It's going to be all right. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. <laughs> the hell? Shut up. Don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader's order. Believe that hope that lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's okay! My baby! What? What was that? <laughs> I told her that you only understand piggy talk. <laughs> I said you're so cool and piggy talk. In I'm the name of my family. I'm going to kill you. Hajime. Hajime, the password, please. Yeah, I know. Why is the dead coming back? This is fucking weird. 11037, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. The password is Leon. It's the answer to Danganronpa 1's first trial. 
Beyond this door, the future is waiting. The sparkling future. Oh, and that's not a spoiler, by the way, because this is the sequel game. So I already played the first game, so not a spoiler. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Ah! Shit's going cray cray. Huh? Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It hell? sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? Um, where did everyone go? They're already dead! Hmm? I don't know how the fuck Everyone? What? But, but something's wrong. Something wrong. Jeez. No. Whoa, what did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... Ah, oh, my senses are getting de-digitized! This world? Oh shit. Oh shit! What the hell's going on? Okay, it's been like forever since I touched. Stage clear? Huh? It's been like forever since I touched Danganronpa 2, so I totally forgot what's going on here. That guy get get crap from. Oh my god, everything. Oh. Oh, she didn't say dad get gamger gramps. Or whatever the fuck she jumbles together, you don't know. Chucky's backpack! Aww. Chapters. Huh? Heading to the school trip. It would be wrong to say if it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes, it would suddenly shake violently. Every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect would be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent, detecting regularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Ah, uh, how boring. Nagito? Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. Oh, so we're Hajime? Maybe? clearly directed at me. <laughs> you looked like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Sh ships? Ah, oh, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. <laughs> you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Oh, by the way, uh, to the one viewer that's watching me, welcome. Sorry. I can't really tell through my PS4 screen, so that's why I have like my, my site app going, but welcome to the show. Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence is starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. Totally sensible. How should I put this? A small smell exclusive to those who are already finished. It was a smelly smell. The kind of smelly smell that smells... smelly. Anchovies. Anchovies! Just kidding. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me. So to share a room with a person like that... Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. 
But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's... That's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. P possess? Huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Host Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Ah, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Ah, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. Because these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Ah, uh, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But, what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person, just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about the ultimate despair? Shuko and Oshima? But how? I mean, they're, they're already... I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now, it rests in my pocket. I... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky! I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you! Whoa! Then will I be able to see her again? I have her hand after all. Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time, will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? So that explains why in Ultra Despair Girls, when you meet Nagito for the first time, he has uh, a mitten over his hand. And it's that hand specifically why he has a mitten. So that's the reason why he has Junko's hand. Okay, then explain your hand. Ah, uh, this, the end of that bandage, is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand, after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy! I see. So you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. But wait, considering how Junko died, how could you even get it? It was like... Ah, uh, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh, oh, that's strange. Huh? Ha 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 Look out the window! We're finally here! You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's gonna happen on that island once you get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But, no matter what happens, it is of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? So I'm guessing it's me. It's me that he's talking to. Huh?
What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Through the door, obviously. Oh, God, too bright. Huh? Huh? I isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground. But then, why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we were all gathered in that classroom, just before I arrived at Jabberwock Island. But, where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. What the hell's going on, Monokuma? So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately! Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. But, but, why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? And not just that. What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? I found you! No! No! <laughs> this clock doesn't have any hands. A clock without hands is meaningless. Why would something like this need a classroom? What is this? In a normal classroom, there'd be a window, but instead, there's this iron plate bolted here. When I tried knocking on it with my fist, Looks like it's pretty thick iron plate. Is this to keep us trapped? What the heck? Is this place where iron plates are covering the windows inside the classrooms? Is it really Hope's Peak Academy? Second is on top of the path. Oh wait, that's not the right one. Gym by 11 next, okay. Does this have the same purpose as the surveillance cameras on Jamrock Island? If so, who's watching us? Is it whoever's controlling Monokuma? And we just saw a TV, so I don't think we need to leave here. Yeah. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. This doesn't look like a normal school at all. Definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's... Probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Oh no, I can't go inside! Digitize me, Captain! It's like, no! What do you want? Ah. It's a baby money me. Let's start the trial already, Monokuma! Ah! Damn it! Can't go in! Shit! Huh? Oh, that's it. Oh, I can't spend my coins! Damn it! I have too many coins, Monokuma. Let me spend them. Let me out of here! No love for the nurse's office. Uh, I'm scared. Can I take a piss? No. Can I go upstairs? No. Monica's like, get the fuck into the gym already! Quit fucking looking around! Gymnasium's here, right? Alright, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not gonna cower away anymore. And so I brace myself and cautiously open the door. 
Whoa! Okay, there. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. <laughs> Damn it, people! I'm trying to stream! It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right! Y yo, Hajime! Yo! You heard the announcement came here, too? You guys did, too, right? What's going on? Hey, hey, what do you make of all this? I could have said this place was Homespeak Academy or something. That is... That, that cannot be possible. Well, yeah. You're right. You're right. Anyway, you look at it, it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! How does it feel to return to long-awaited Homespeak Academy? Why, you... Y you You... Hey, where are we? Why'd you lock us up this time? <laughs> That's... Ooh, what a shock! I just told you, guys, this is Homespeak Academy! I'm not lying! Of course not! There's no way hell that's true! No, no! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Homespeak Academy! Well, what's left of it, anyway? What's left of it? Well, what? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Homespeak Academy fell to ruin! Lies! You were serious about that? Stupid fool! I don't believe it! Hmm. But of course it fell to ruin! I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for! W what do you mean? I don't like this! Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed! I went through all this trouble to bring you to Hope Speak Academy, and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic! Fine, fine! Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys! I did it for the players out there, right? Everybody? Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Someone. Don't fuck with me! Enough of this bullshit! Just spit it out already! You... Where'd, you t where'd you take us, you bastard? Um... No, I am not certain of my memories. I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this Homespeak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. You... What do you mean, between? Hey, hey, hey! What do you mean, babe? What do you mean, babe? What's this? Oh my, are you minds getting the grumblies that only Nautish can satisfy? But stomach is getting grumblies that only the left hands can satisfy. <laughs> good, very good. It's fun to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? What are you planning to make us do? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Shing! That's too cliched anyway. It's just a simple graduation exam. Answer this question. What's two times four to the power of 20? Answer. Five minutes, seconds. Four, three, two, one. You fail! Huh? Then what is a graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, there's your headmaster. I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you finally got to graduate. Are you sure about this? But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world's like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? Is it gonna get out? There's no way we stay here. That's right! This is annoying! Just hurry up and let us choose! Let us choose right now! No, no, no! You can't do that! The main cast hasn't even arrived yet! Um... Main cast? Hey! Um... Meaning, you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives! Damn it! So enough complaining already! Hurry up and start researching the outside world! What do you mean? Uh-huh! I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hope Speak Academy! Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> All the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. <laughs> so, please rest assured and start to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um... Well, what is going on? Outside world? Main cast? 
Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Lucky gets it just thinking that this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. But, but that's impossible, right? What are you saying? <clears throat> how, how do we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be. There is no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on this island. This building? Is this really Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> it's a giant ass building! This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long? What in the world's going on? Damn it! Why is this happening? Why? <laughs> I was finally able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I, I... Wanted to become Hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have it or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. And nobody forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Where's your heartless nobody? <laughs> if I really am a nobody, then... I need to find my heartless. If I can join with it, I'll become a whole person again. You should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um... Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out! Sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey! Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez... Even though Chiaki and Monami are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means, Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So, they're not World Ender? Then we really were tricked by Monokuma. However... The Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn it. Even if they're our allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on her own. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So, what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. If we're going to get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez! Monokum said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright! Alright, I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! For like... ass whooping! Yeah, we might be able to learn about something. About Hope's Peak Academy? About ourselves? Uh... I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! Hey, we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island life by any means. Of course! Hell yes! I love you, Sonya! He's... right. Now's not the time to become bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is? What's happened to Hope's Peak Academy? None of that matters. What's important is... I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we could stop now. But... Monica should have already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So what are we going to do? Can we start already? Hmm... But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so... I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <coughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Whoa! Hey, you're already going? Jeez! Why's this idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man... She obviously thinking, isn't thinking about anything. 
However, it will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. All right! So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. It's... You don't stop at a green light, Sonya. We stopped at the green light. We never reach our goal. Jeez, you're pathetic. Connie already took off on her own. Might be faster we split up and look around, too. <laughs> like Sonya said, there's no more killing. We don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. Those brief words for Hiko left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. So did take a deep bow and then left the gymnasium. Oh my. No, you got a curtsy, not bow. <laughs> Miss Sonia, I saw your cleavage. Miss Sonia. Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger from a left alone. Kazumichi gets chased after Sonia, who had just departed and left the gymnasium. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's gonna end. I can escape this little I can escape this nightmare. And return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance towards the hope. <coughs> Even though I don't understand, and that lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. Oh shit. No! I knew you could do it! Really? Nothing to invest in here? Okay. What? Huh? Huh? That, that's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but... It's clearly different. Is this Monokum is doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? Jesus. It, ah! <laughs> I, I don't know what he's do how he's doing it, but... He keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not gonna fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. Uh, actually, yes, I'd like to back down. Please let me out of here! God damn it! Everything's all digitally fucked up. Um, this hallway, there is a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? Nope, it's not just you. Look, you can't go in there. Oh, hey, I can go to the JoJo. Hmm. Okay, nothing, nothing there. Is this a JoJo? Full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect me inside this building to make sense. The target seems pretty far away. If the production team had a, had more time, there could have been a minigame here. Wait, what am I saying? Why am I breaking the fourth wall? There are a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them has a traditional looking woodblock key sticking out of them. I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. There's a straw post. I guess that means it was used for training? It's armor and a helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect Japanese dojo? Why am I breaking the fourth wall again? What? What is this? Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Moron, a History of Speak Academy by Monokuma? Why is the manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with history first, class! Hey, um... Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person! So just as I thought, Monica made this. It totally explains how suspicious it looks. I don't want to just ignore it, but there's no way I could do that. Fine, I'll look at it. Look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The cat? Aww. I like it when cats talk. That's cute. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Did she move? Am I always playing tricks on me? Ugh. 
Hubspeak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hopespeak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hopespeak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hopespeak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with the research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes the general entrance exam, and a fuck ton of money. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking at the Reserve Department. The expenses exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Yep. So, Hajime was a rich bitch. That's how I got it. Nevertheless, Homespeak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Homespeak Academy was now available to countless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope's Peak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope's Peak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down with a, without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? Yet it was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga. The tragedy and the tragedy of Hopespeak Academy? Find out Degaropa 3, the anime, to find out what that is. These names are so melodramatic. There's no way these incidents really happen, right? The manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... You know, just be a waste of time to wonder about things that like, don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something discussed in this manga. The Reserve Department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve force students, right? But hold on! Huh? That's weird! Oh, you're here again. Shing! Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course! Huh? Hey! Hey! Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The future foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you suddenly should but you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So, I think it's weird I actually forgot something like that too. Wh what do you want me to say? By the way, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you're one of the reserve force students. I got it! Or you willingly seal those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> You wanted to become confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. <laughs> Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on! Things get inconvenient. You always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. Damn it! What the heck? Reserve department. Okay, good. Oh, I can't go here? Okay. What's going on? It's always. It's kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I should be able to go. Like the rules being enforced for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Yeah, Sonya just said that. Oh, I can't go into the fuck room. I'm sorry, fucked up room, I should say. Huh? The hell? Wait, where am I supposed to go then? Maybe I'll open later. That's open now? Nothing noticeable is here. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is... Manga for Morons, The Tragedy, Hope Speak Academy. 
Huh. Wasn't the tragedy Hope's Peak Academy mentioned the other manga too? That's why Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt there. It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. Play reason manga will be able to learn a little more about that incident. Oh, that's a cool cover! I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. Like Lupin the Third! Just kidding, I don't think that's Lupin's style. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamakura. Izuru was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all the resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Wielding superior talents for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who was also known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students at Hope's Peak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. The ultimate despair! That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of Reserve Corps students, who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began, and that heralded Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Work cited, Danganronpa Zero. That's a manga series, I think, or life, or a visual novel, or some, I've, some kind of novel. I want to read it. I need to read Danganronpa Zero. Or just watch Danganronpa 3. I'm pretty sure the anime covers that pretty well. With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am, am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope Speak Academy. Well, let's see. From what we know, yeah, that's right, it was only 10. <laughs> what irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope, to have such a gruesome incident. A town like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy cheese with a bar of gold. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you should be lucky that you're confident. Damn it, why does this lead up something offensive? It seriously pisses me off. What? Ultimate Hope? I'm not gonna mention that before, too. But it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagato said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope is just a need talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they gave me one of those talents, but it'd have to be in the reserve department. Hey! <laughs> Y'all got any of them, uh, talents? Talent? 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 You wanna give me a talent? Here, teach me! Give me a talent! That's right, the Reserve Department. Here, ten of the Reserve Corps students in the Reserve Department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I'd have no reason to do something like that. I was the prettiest out of all the Reserve Corps students. Everybody could fuck off. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy Hope Seek Academy, but... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student is going to use the incident to their advantage. Who is that? Since it is really messed up, all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Ah, uh, yep. So I got two of them so far. Next one is yes. Got it. I'm guiding it up to see where the remaining, uh, hidden monica- Apart from the, uh, fuck up- fuck up room, and the, um... What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here! It's like I'm a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. 
Give me your Monokuma. Uh, I've been found. This looks like a plastic tarp. Why is this left out like this? Clean up after yourselves, will you? You fucking pigs! I've seen this in movies before. It's a fridge for preserving dead bodies. At least that's what it looked like. That, that's not possible, right? Keeping dead bodies in the high school bio lab isn't something you should joke about. It just feels so forced. This idea should have been cancelled during development or something. Huh? What am I thinking? Well, you know, you could have uh, anatomy students, biology students want to learn that shit. Jeez, Hajime. Think of others than yourself. Another manga just laying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was the incident really all about? Well, it turned out to be something lame. Yeah, everybody wanted pepperoni pizza and they got cheese, so they started murdering everybody. Flip through the pages of the manga and hope that I was right. Ooh, we got swirls. A story about a creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. Incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Stop. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with a sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. Movement started spreading all over the internet. It fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet. It began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them, and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to the more uncivilized times, when senseless deaths were the norm. Media was oversaturated with death to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. Oh honey, let's flip on the new channel today. Let's see who got murdered today. Oh yes, dear. Let me just get our uh, steak and carrots and potatoes and get everything all ready as we watch somebody get brutally murdered for the 15th time. He goes stabby, stabby, stabby. How do you do it? Gun, stab, knife, electrocution? Let's find out, shall we, honey? By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etat began occurring around the world. Or, ugh, world. <laughs> I got coup d'etat, but I can't say world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Okay. As an American, I really hope we never get to this point. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. Like, I don't want war at all. We should never have wars. War is just stupid. It's pointless. But I don't want war for the sake of war. You know? Shit. That didn't fuck anything up. War for the sake of war. That's just... It's really cruel. How can a movement started by a high school student progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization. Devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope Speak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope Speak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as the ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. Tragedy will never end. Damn! <laughs> my heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. It wasn't because I was freezing in this room. Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. Oh, I mean, if this is really true. Then what's happening to the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? No way! Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? God, you're psycho! 
<laughs> Who would enjoy reading something like this? Wah wah? Oh my, you don't like manga? What are you, a fucking nerd? <sighs> a high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like eat candy. Or get her ass groped by the boss. Enough! What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but... For you not to remember that, let's be fair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them stealing your school of memories. The incident that had to happen during that period has been completely, completely removed from your brains. This, this incident really happened? And I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! Hello. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. <laughs> I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I see. So that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as your headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally gonna graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world's like before you make a decision. Oh shit, I was supposed to do this the whole time. I'm sorry, guys. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Sorry, Monica was taken far away. <laughs> He's trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. There's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Fuck him! Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... No, that's definitely it. The tragedy. Whether or not this incident really happened, one of the world's is this ultimate despair group. I bet that's the next manga to find. They're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction. Are they connected to both tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're not as ultimate as there, they're high school students, right? They're actually able to do it, and I guess that's why they're called the ultimate. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It, it's no use. I'm gonna freeze to death. I'm at my limit! I need to get out of here! Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Damn, I wish I had a jacket! Oh, that was close. I nearly froze to death. Where should I go next? I think I'm going to make this an extended episode. Because that way, uh, the next episode will probably be the final episode. And make it the um, trial and the uh, epilogue. Oh, my bees open. More manga, please! No, I should ignore it. I'm gonna print that 10 I didn't see him. Jeez! When I went outside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right! So let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Alright. Hiya! Why, hello, Hajime! I hope you're doing pleasantly well. <gasps> are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, that was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning, asshole. I don't want to read your stupid manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating on pods. That makes no sense. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what did you do? Tell me. <laughs> it's all about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days... Actually... It was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. And she was totally hot. Everybody was got the hots for her. Uh, 
high school girl? Yes, indeed! Lady! Junko and Oshima! <laughs> Junko and Oshima? Hey! Um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor. I created the ultimate despair. <laughs> there was really one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me! Oh, hold on a sec! I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. I don't know why people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Unbelievable. Demons who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Phew! Her connections were the main reason that it today became a tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? And what was their purpose? Huh? What? Like, like I said, why did it cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they do that without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko and Oshima's despair. Huh? For Junko and Oshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko and Oshima as Junko and Oshima. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying she's despair incarnate, you bitch! <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko and Oshima is so full, so bleh. Junko and Oshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her everything is despair. What? What the hell? Hmm. With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. The idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> and so, the ultimate despair who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. No, not the warriors of hope. Okay. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko and Oshima's name. For example, Phew! They killed their family and friends, and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. <laughs> and to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. What? Did you know about the final days of reserve course students during the tragedy of Hope Tick Academy? Final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? Of course! They fulfilled their roles disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students in the reserve department all committed mass suicide! <laughs> Mass suicide? What'd you say? All 2,357 students? <laughs> it wasn't all them. One person was excluded. You, Hajime. One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair? Junko and Oshima? <laughs> doesn't scare me at all. I mean, bastard! Junko and Oshima's already dead! Huh? Shadow Junko! Oh, Jun Shiko is already dead. What does that mean? What is Pico and Pico in this Alright, I think my dog's gotta go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back, guys.
Okie dokie, Lara Chokies. We'll be back for a few minutes and then pull out to get grab, grab Ragsy and he'll be back again. Hey, hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Juko and Ashima's really dead? Huh? Wait, you didn't see? There's a book called Manga for Morons. Killing school life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. What was that thing you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were, we were involved in. There were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey! For a manga about the killing of school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed school and kill li killing school life was... Juko Onoshima! The mastermind took her own life? Which means Juko Onoshima's dead. <laughs> like... It turns out the killing of school life was part of that whole biggest and most awful or whatever incident. Juko took away the memories of former students of Hope Speak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope Speak Academy? And she took away their memories? Th that's just like us. <laughs> Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras to broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? So... The students of Hope Speak Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. Th that's messed up. <laughs> that messed up plan was stopped. Junko, Junko and Ashima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, <laughs> she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. <laughs> no matter how horrible she was, there's no reason for to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, it doesn't matter. Bastard! Junko and Ashima isn't alive anymore! And Who's our enemy? Monokuma, duh! Junko and Ashima's already dead. And are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind us? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in, in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... <laughs> imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit! If the students from Hope Speak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose the fate! But it really is an imitation. Are those surveillance cameras the same, too? Cameras all over Jabbawalk Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Killing School Life manga! Shadow Junko! <laughs> Man, Hajime! You totally know about that story, huh? W what Do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, oh, it's how a time. exciting! You're getting closer to clearing my character out, and then we can bounce! Did I make it sense again? Well now! Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah! I'll raise the flags like crazy! And I'll be right back again. I'm gonna grab Ragsy. are back. Look at my baby. Isn't he sweet? He's the best. I love you, baby. Alright, daddy's gotta work, okay? Are you here? Yep. I don't know what the hell's calling me this late, but fuck you. Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. So sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No. I've already decided that I'm not gonna be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Can I go down? No, you cannot. Obviously not, stupid. Hmm. A 
Connie's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's just my gut, but... I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? By who? So... I don't know, it's just my gut after all. It's Trust just my gut! gut. Trust your gut! But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. Monica did say something about the main cast coming. Surprising, but her gut, 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 gut must be correct again in this one. Nope. Nope, not the data center. Hmm. Okay, looks like the only place I can go is the uh, music hall first. Everything else looks like uh, digitized out. Huh? This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. That piano! This doesn't make sense at all! It's a very nice looking grand piano. Might be very valuable. Ibuki might have been able to play this. Looks like it's some sort of monument? Why would there be a monument in music room? Not just that, the mark engraved in the monument is a symbol for the Future Foundation, right? Me and I. Below that symbol, there is a short passage to create. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, graduates of Hope's Peak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Uh, aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up! That fucking bear! Well, what is this? Words are floating in the air. This it's like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. Looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people this time. they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. It's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them, place them in our care as soon as possible. So I don't believe the group can go that far without Juko and Oshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of killing school life. Also, if there are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable in the experimental phase of the Neo World Program. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? 15 students? Is that about us? It's good in Chiaki, who is part of the Future Foundation. There are definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they were talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabrock Island? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, but the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe? I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. Guess that's all the clues in this room. Finally confirmed, Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. Now, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be... The ultimate despair is... Who calls the biggest, most awful, most try think about human history? How many times did they fucking repeat that phrase? Jesus. The ones who are carrying out the will of Juko and Oshima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email, too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island? Mentioned in the email. What's that about? The only Future Foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that re that's the research facility. There really is a research facility on this island. There should be other Future Foundation members here. Somehow, there's still so many mysteries. Ah, my visions get blurry. Yeah, I could go to the office. <coughs> hey, there's a monitor. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe... It's probably office, right? I mean, the room has kind of that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? I didn't mention it. It does look like that. Well... More importantly, have you seen this, Sonya? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer does this guy get a simp over her? 
Give it off already. Huh? Are you serious? Damn straight, boy. Flowers! Flowers on top of the desk. Plus they look strange to me. Am I just tired? Huh? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written in here? It's our names! The list of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just below that, our names I've seen before. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Hiyoko Sayanji is written there. What is this newspaper? Wait, what? Why does Hiyoko look so older? What is this? It says Miss Hi Hiyoko Sayanji. This can't be the same Hiyoko, right? I mean, the Hi Hiyoko we knew. That was a bullshit one! She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo of this newspaper... In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hiyoko, but her height and figure... It's too different from the Hiyoko we knew. But what does this mean? Mata comes to show you! Huh? huh? This lady looks pretty mature! Is she Hiyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hiyoko Sayanji right here. Uh, oh! And Hiyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same and first last name. Are you fucking stupid? I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hiyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Man... Oh, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong! She doesn't have an older sister. Hiyoko is the Sayanji family's only daughter. Hmm... She doesn't have a sister, and a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hiyoko. Huh? Of course not! What are you saying? Hiyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I, I mean, uh, she was famous for a childlike figure. She always got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. Well, regardless, all the clues I provided aren't true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? Oh, what the heck? This is the truth? This is the truth. Then the Hiyoko in this newspaper... Is, she re is he really saying that this is the same person? That... That's impossible! I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Kyoko when she's already dead? Why... Why does this even exist? Hey, hey! Could, could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad! <laughs> the subject maybe means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Kyoko's body? Ah! Oh, what am I saying? Just saying out loud makes it sound messed up! What experiment? It's some kind of experiment. It would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard on that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? I better not have anything to do with time travel. <laughs> yeah, like this guy. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. Feels like I've seen it before, but the name etched in the play card says... Hope Speak Academy founder Izuru Kamakura. Hoder, Hope, founder of Hope Speak Academy. His name, Izuru Kamakura. This, doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mis- There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. Guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue our investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Chuko and Ashima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Chuko and Ashima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. I immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? It doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. It's terrible as it sounds. 
it's pretty much an all-out war. If the Revenants Despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Despair! <laughs> <laughs> okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Except for this flag right here. <laughs> Congratulations, Hajime. You said I'll go on to the next stage. Next stage? I don't want to talk to... Soda. Damn it, not again. Always different from the last time. Guess when that flag monumentation mon 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 is raised. I moved to a different hallway than the last time. How could he do that? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Okay, yeah, got that, got that, got that, got that. So the last one is a 2B. Okay, so not this floor. Thinking about it's gonna waste my energy. Classrooms first. Or whatever the fuck is over here. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, not a thing. Yeah, this will be an extended episode compared to the other episodes. We're just gonna go through all the investigation this episode, even if it's longer than the others. Oh, I can't go in the art room? You bitch. Okay, so we got the game room. Okay, those are not accessible. So I think just the... Maybe the art room too, I don't know. So it looks like just the rec room so far. Whoa! Is some psychic doing this? This is a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. Hard to think of a room like this actually exists inside a school. There's a lot of different magazines here. Fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, sports, computer, travel. Even a magazine about cameras. Mahiru would have been happy to see this. It's a nice, firm-looking leather sofa. Good for my butt. Looks like it'd be comfortable for anyone to sleep on. Dark but this is still school, right? Or did Monica just randomly make up this place? Hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact they were unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter. We have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Yay! It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? And why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. What's this? Bye bye, Hajime! If you keep worrying like that, we're gonna get a toothache and collapse! It's your fault! What is this hologram thing anyway? Hey! Um. It's, it's exactly what it looks like! They're the Future Foundation females! I thought they made the perfect clue! I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them! You, you could even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many sounds. No, no! Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. This true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. The file with Hope's Peak Academy seal on it. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we'll we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. 
truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions in intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms, and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The Hope Cultivation Plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope Peak Academy is behind something like that. I don't really get it, but... Something about these words. True hope, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. Pretty much used to it by now, but it is so... What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? It's just totally disconnected from reality. What the fuck? It smells... It's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Connie's switching her nose and examining his surroundings. Based on my gut feeling. They're definitely real close. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Answer with your gut. Answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Hmm. Let's see. My gut feeling is... Yeah. They're both! Yo! He's right. They're both. Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details. Just my gut, after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Akane, you're, you're, you're spacing out, girl! What the hell's going on? Oh, I like this music, though. I can't go to the pool? Damn you. the library. Okay, it looks like a little 2B is going to be after. Into the upside down library. Oh my god, I hope a Demi Gorgon's not here. Oh. Let's rise that up. Must be a library. Monica would probably left something here too. Should hurry up and find it. Okay, I just want to make sure it's just the email. Yeah, it's just the email. Hologram again. Must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt it's another clue. To Future Foundation, 14th Division. Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to how you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our deals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Well, what does this mean? The email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape? The email is addressed to Koto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Huh. To the classroom! I'm getting dizzy! Huh? Did I walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but I'm... It's just like the laundry room. I was always worrying about it, but... I was in a school and now I'm in suddenly in the laundry room? Hi, Monokuma! No! I should start a circus. Okay, this is the only thing important right here. This looks like a tablet computer. Looks like the power's on, too. Is this the next clue? Picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Neo World Program. Ooh. Neo World Program? This word, Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. Ah. The Neo World Program has another name. Psychotherapeutic communi communi Communication Simulator. The Neo World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World Program, individuals such as the Ultimate Programmer, the Ultimate Neurologist, and the Ultimate Therapist were among the many talented people 
whose research results were utilizing. Wait, so that means Chihiro had a part in this? Allows the subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world and with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Ah, so much reading. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now? It's all disappearing until all I feel is... Despair. Ah! I screamed loudly, as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I... I'm starting to accept that. This... This... There's no way. Something as crazy as this actually exists? Nice! You gotta raise the flag more in order to clear my character out! <laughs> now that just there is waiting for you! Impossible. This is impossible! It's all made up. Everything is... All made up. Made up. Including me too? Whoa! Hiya! Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. <laughs> you gays, oh, you guys are the, yeah, not gays. <laughs> you guys are the only ones watching this who can't save them. And I'm talking to you, the player, not the characters within this game. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it! <laughs> Whoa! What? This hallway? When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see the resemblance, but... Can I go to the back? Whoa! What, what the f... God, this is tripping me out, man. Ah! Let's go to the store, I got money to spend. Are you gonna f Okay, no, you're... You're real. Well? Are you familiar with the placebo effect and the nocebo effect? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the placebo effect is when your health improves after taking a fake medicine you believe is real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite. Which means as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions... <laughs> If the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up, Elsa? Huh? Huh? Oh my! Huh? Um... Uh, I am not sure. I do not fully understand. What the heck? Ah, my vision's going blurry! What the fuck, Monaco? <laughs> the moment you discover that the truth was a lie, all hope will disappear. <laughs> Back to here, I guess. Big object! Big boy! Is, is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? The moment I looked at the object... Whoa! Bunch of ones and zeros I do not understand. Ch Welcome! Welcome to the Neo World Program! A, a person? Shihiro? A floating person is talking to me. Who, who is it? No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm not quite a person. I am simply an artificial intelligence program. 
It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It, it can talk. But, but what are you? Alter Ego? Alter... Artifi alter. Artificial Intelligence Program? I am the master program behind the Neo World Program. I am responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the Observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager, or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything. I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. But hold on! My brain can't follow what you're saying. Me, me no smart. Use, use simple words. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. Floating, floating, like my feet are hovering above the floor. I look down. Oh shit, I'm flo floating! It's like I can feel my feet on the ground. Or the ground. Like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has submitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, I'm in the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be, mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, this school you're in. It appears the space is entirely under the vir virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I am simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words, I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It makes more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel, I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. It's missing sense of reality, all the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World program used for in the first place? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you could say it is a program for creating hope. Program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here, the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step towards replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to? Samanakuma was right. We did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? <sighs> There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me, too. Booting the program on the Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy while it's still in the experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I am sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I could think of. It sounds like we're just a bunch of lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Um, I am sorry. I cannot provide that much help. If only it was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new worlds make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the Observer in the Teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the Observer in the Student role was not. They weren't giving any special authority at all, so they seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. 
But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World Program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. W what is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it is already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it's still the portion of my abilities which contain my authority to build the world. It was like, it was a grandmaster chess play. I just really tried to fight back, so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its, its convenience. She's probably talking about Monica Morocco in the funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence the future Foundation created. You can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means the supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses that ult this Alter Ego? If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it! What the heck? Artificial intelligence. Waging an attack against another one. That's so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program exists in isolation. It is impossible it was in it was impossible it was infected through a network. I am fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an exper external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it to the main computer where the Neo World Program is installed. Based on my calculations, that is most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility, but the only person who could enter that facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that's what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Ah, but it's true that the virus is powerful, and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas, so it has a limit, too. A limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Okay! Come on now! Even if you're just a guided machine, that's enough hints from you! <clears throat> if you're gonna say something more, I'll kill you a third time! Suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to the dissociation based on the definition of existence that constitutes the relationship. From there, the paradigm changes results by cut up, being cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is undeservable and whoa accelerates and crosses with a joint ownership of the world and the situation for the context invites your. Hey! It's just over and over, death, 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 over. Whoa! Inverse Monokuma is creepy. Oh, oh, whoa! Ah, god, shit, Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. That's actually making me sick. Jesus, fuck. What the heck? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the early one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we are forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do, we are forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really wanted to save you right away, but because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. This means that's working. It means that the person I need to talk to is right there. I hope. Looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. So who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say. I believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. 
We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. And that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it's too late. And it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. This was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password in the graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037. 11037. That's the number we found at Nesby Castle. The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you finished gathering the Hope Fragment. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I have my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the Observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 11037 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought about Nagido. You saw it first, but he raised that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. The number to kids is secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Thank you, Sayaka. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I've trusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with despair. Using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he, he has a secret plan to defeat Monica? In a worst case scenario, where an observer who has the role of teacher goes rogue. I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the forced shutdown sequence. Forced shutdown sequence? Even the teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this so that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Which means if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the forced shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Ask him to Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mysterious voice, come back! Hmm? Say what? What was that just now? Hmm? Hey, Hajime, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. I see. Anyway! Oh well. Anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get. And that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useful stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna put it again! Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but... It was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time to hear. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. I mean, it's Monokuma that doesn't know about the conversation I have with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might, so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best at? Mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? For everything was a lie, isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings, too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless, too? When the world has flipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Leon! Ah. Bing dong, bing bong. Oh, that's it. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam! Uh. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy! <laughs> See you soon! Red door, huh? Just a waste of time thinking about what this all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. We just need to focus on that. 
Yeah. Ah, God! Fuck! Ugh. He means this red door, right? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will this be finished? Whoa! We're going through a vortex! A time vortex! We don't know what's on the other side, but it's a time vortex! It's getting brighter, what's on the other side? Oh my god, my eyes! Last trial, ground one. Huh? This place? Yo! Looks like everyone's here. Damn right! It seems that this is gonna be the final place. However... This place is... Is this a trial field? But why is it a trial field? It sure looks like a trial gown, but... The vibe is way different from the one before. Um... We've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door of the ancient ruins leads to. Hey! Huh! Seems pretty strange we've been in that other building up until now. Damn it! It's like we were dreaming of something. This is a dream. This too is very... Welcome! So, you finally arrived. Congratulations! You guys are the first ones ever to beat this game. <laughs> After stopping by Home Speak Academy, you finally come back to this place. <laughs> to the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. You. You could give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different from the trial ground from before. Stupid fool! From before! Phew! This trial field is actually inspired from the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey! Who cares? The graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course! Of course! And that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we decide, we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then! <laughs> Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed! There are two options. Graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. In other words... Which means, everyone has died until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then... Then the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm... <laughs> if graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> ah, ah, even if we do the stupid majority vote, the result's already pretty damn obvious. Come on, smooth this along. Can we press it now, right? No, no, no! You can't do that yet. Still gotta do a class trial. Gotta, there's an order to these things, you dumb bitch. Hmm. I mean, your result hasn't burned yet, right? But you're willing to be swept away beside society's harsh current. Shut up! Shut up! Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it! What's this? My, my. Which of your orifices are using this new pile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know. What? What is that? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? That's right! After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! So if we do vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Well... Um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! Uh, you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduation. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. He's doing it because that's how it has to be? Does that mean he can exert his will over everything? He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway! Even if you don't want to do it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you cast your majority votes, and from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> what? Why do we have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is... It's protocol, damn it! You said you were waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? Which means you're just stalling for time, then. <laughs> Who's the main cast? Hmm. Well, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. That is... There is no way it has nothing to do with us. We are the only ones who are involved, you know. So annoying. It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it's nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You pissed me off. Oh, hold, hold on. What's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that. <laughs> ah, not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. I won't forgive you. How dare you treat it like a toy? What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything! <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just 
so promising, you guys. Can you guys see? I guess this is just the nature of life. <laughs> Find that before you die. Steer my power into your memories. Whoa. All right. Woo. Guess what, everybody? That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for following along. If you missed any of the action, the episode will be on my YouTube channel under the Auto Samurai later. Uh, tomorrow's going to be the grand finale for Danganronpa 2. We'll be going through the final trial and through the epilogue. So be on the lookout for that. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next, tomorrow's finale. See ya!